Hi folks, it's Todd Dills here with the week's news from Overdrive, the voice of the American trucker. Signals coming from the Biden administration have no small number of owner-operators and owners of very small fleets worried about potential business impacts. An Overdrive survey of carriers owning fewer than 10 trucks showed 63% expecting quite negative business consequences. One worries higher costs and inflation in fuel and other areas. Others are concerned that a nationalized ABC independent contractor test, like that being litigated in California, would limit opportunities for owner operators. Some respondents expect renewed advocacy for speed limiters, which quieted considerably under Trump, and for increasing the liability insurance premium. A big hike in liability premiums, one respondent said, would put him out of business. A follow-up survey found a strong fear of excessive government stimulus policies with subsequent inflation and other ramifications. There was some support for changes in tariff policies that might boost import-export freight markets, likewise infrastructure and other spending measures that could create new opportunities. Speaking of infrastructure, should federal funding for truck parking be part of the next big bill? The Owner-Operator Independent Drivers Association thinks so. It's urging the Biden administration to push Congress to include it. The association calls the lack of safe truck parking a national safety crisis, documented as far back as the 1990s. OOIDA's letter to DOT Secretary Pete Buttigieg says the Bipartisan Truck Parking Safety Improvement Act that was proposed earlier this year proves that there is broad support for the issue. Two drivers have joined the ranks of Travel Centers of America's Citizen Driver Award honorees. Named in this eighth annual round are Dan Dusty Porter, of Acton in Ontario, Canada, and Don Talley of Muncie, Indiana. The two have a combined 73 years of hauling freight with nearly 6 million accident-free miles. Each recipient of the Citizen Driver Award gets to choose a TA, Petro, or TA Express location to be dedicated in their honor. Werner Driver Porter chose the Petro in Glendale, Kentucky, and is going to split his $2,500 award between the St. Christopher Truckers Fund and Truckers United for Charities. Porter is well known at truck shows for freely photographing nonprofit groups' events, such as Women in Trucking and Trucker Buddy International. Tally, a U.S. Army veteran who drives for Carter Express, chose the Petro in Gaston, Indiana. The St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund will receive his $2,500. Congress Securement Manufacturer Kennedyne is offering free training resources next week, including a webinar that's well timed the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance International Road Check set for May 4 through the 6th. Operators who want to make sure their cargo control will pass inspection can check out the webinar, airing at 2 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday, April 28th. Kennedyne reps will walk around a truck, highlighting key elements of cargo securement. Find links to register for the webinar and download a securement guide via overdriveonline.com. And as May 4 approaches, keep an eye on our website and newsletter for more stories helping you prepare for road check. Used trucks are commanding a premium as supply chain shortages and now a strike at Volvo's Virginia plant have handicapped new truck builds to an extent. March prices for used Class 8s jumped in just a month by nearly 22% at auction and 5% at retail, as reported by J.D. Power. Late model sleeper tractors are bringing the highest pricing at auction since J.D. Power began tracking this segment in 2015. Prices rose almost 40% from February to an average of almost $70,000 for model year 2018. The average sleeper tractor retailed in March was about 6 years old, had 450,000 miles, and was bought for close to $58,000. Compared to the previous month, that average truck was 3 months newer, had 2% more miles, and was selling for 5% more money. This time last year, the same average tractor would have retailed for almost 30% less money with similar miles and age. Past Overdrive Red Eye Radio Trucker Talent Search winner and singer-songwriter Jason Lee Wilson hung up his keys a few years ago. He now operates a custom automotive business called Dixie Lee Speed in the Maryville, Tennessee area, also doing custom truck work there. During a recent wiring harness swap in a pickup, he found an inoperable light bulb filled with a slightly yellow liquid. Wilson was quite mystified by just how so much liquid could have gotten inside the bulb, and then, recalling old pranks surrounding so-called blinker fluid, he realized just what he had. Wilson replaced the inoperative lamp, then put the genuine blinker fluid-filled bulb up for sale on eBay, 
Asking price? $100. Not a bad rate for a phantom come to life, wouldn't you say? And not unrealistic, considering you can find on Amazon no shortage of gag oil quart bottles labeled as blinker fluid. Those versions are considerably less valuable than the real McCoy.